three groups of two, three groups of two, it doesn't matter who you go with. It's one minute. We're going sprint rounds for one minute. You got one minute to make an impression and finish the fight. Finish that with the arm. Oh, yeah. Oh, you just split him. Oh, Is that a pin? Is that a pin? That's a pin. <laughs> I'm done with your Della Rosa for today. <laughs> Let's see. So we're getting, everybody's getting close to competition. I would say that the one thing that I want you guys to focus on right now that I haven't talked about yet is gratitude. Gratitude. We've had guys in here recently that have fought. They did everything right, and then they did one thing wrong, and they got caught, right? And the only thing that's going to save you mentally in that spot is to, to be grateful that you even have the opportunity to come in here and work out and much less compete because this is not for everybody. Good? So come in Friday. Let's get that work. Yes, sir. Let's break it out. Hard work on three. One, two, three. Hard work! See y'all Friday. Here we go. We're gonna have 18 tens and six ones. Okay, here you go. 18 tens and six ones. What number does that make? It makes 186. Okay, so I put 18 tens, right? How come you got 100 right there? We take those 10 tens and we trade them for what? We trade them for 100. Exactly. You take 10 tens because 10 tens makes 100, right? Does that make sense? So I was right. So you were right, exactly. No bees, no honey? No work, no money. All right, let's try one more, and then we're going to be done. So I grew up right in Azle, Texas. Played a bunch of sports. I was really close with my parents and I had a sister who's a couple years older than me. Um, had a few rough patches kind of in high school. Right after my freshman year, I ended up getting pregnant with my daughter. Mom, so you know how I was wearing a skirt? Yeah. Well, I was walking and you know how there's like a hole in the teeth? Well, it spilled on my skirt and it looked like I peed my pants. So I hurried up and took it off and I put it in my backpack. <laughs> well, good thing you were wearing leggings underneath. And then all my friends said, did you pee your pants? I'm like, it's still, baby, quiet, don't tell anybody. <laughs> Basically, after I got pregnant, um, Zaylin's dad, he ended up breaking up with me. He dumped her for another girl while she was pregnant. And I have heard the story about 10, 15 times. And come to, I guess Montana was just super pissed. She's pregnant and stuff. Montana like grabs her by the hair and beats her up a little bit in the school cafeteria. I was so pissed. I was like nine months pregnant. I like threw a water bottle at her face. <laughs> I got called down to the principal's office and he's like, I understand. <laughs> You're just coming down here because I have to bring you down here. <laughs> I want to see working this arm bar, getting these elbows up. Try to be almost heel to knee here, and I can take the arm bar. So I met Mark our very first day that we had our doors open. Um, we had a, like a grand opening sign in the window right here before we opened, and I guess he saw it. Pull her head back this way. I would always get in fights and stuff in school, and I was a pretty, a pretty tough guy in school, but I first day I get beat up by a girl, I got choked out multiple times, and I was like, I guess I don't know anything about fighting at all. This is what everybody needs to know about when I met Mark. 15 years old, 195 pounds, chubby, shy. He wouldn't say a word, but uh, fighting really brought him out of his shell. Am I heavy, Montana? Mm -hmm. Montana, she would come cross training with us and stuff, and she would message me uh, just trying to get extra mitt time, and we just became good friends. Pull your head in tight. Yeah. Ooh. 
Uh, That's the mission of the night. It's 50K right there. That money. I'm trying to get you paid. <laughs> Zaylin was two, about to be three. I was bringing her around Genesis, and you know he would just be really good with her. Let's get everyone on the wall, guys. Fix your belts. Which kind of caught my attention. Usually around here, we have a bunch of young young girls that end up getting pregnant and stuff, and two things happen. Either they want to party a lot, they leave the kid with the parents, or they just give them up. Nice. But Montana invested everything into Zaylin, stopped hanging out with friends, committed 100% to being a good mom. She's a great mom. She's an amazing mom. At that time, he was about to have his second amateur fight, and I went and watched him. It's all about off the mat. Let's get your water. Hurry. That's where I was like, ooh, <laughs> maybe I could date this guy. <laughs> his fighting skills got me. <laughs> Everybody circle up real quick. Circle up. Hustle, 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 hustle. Let's go, hustle. All right. You gotta look at this like a table, right? You got a table, you got four legs, it's strong, right? It's nice and strong, I can sit on him, he can hold me up here. He's nice and strong, right? My leg does all the work, okay? So I'm driving across, my knee goes right in the butt, I'm making sure I get that wrist, okay? As soon as I get that wrist, I need all my weight on this guy. We never let go of the wrist. We never let go of the... There we go. Let's get a try. Go, one, two. Zaylin uh, came to me uh, when she was five years old, and she cried every practice. I mean, literally cried every practice. She was the smallest person in the room, not the smallest girl. She was the smallest person in the room. I'm going to see you fight. Pierce, come on, hold her down. There we go. Good job. And as I got to know Zaylin, I realized that she was crying every night, not because she hated it, and not because she was getting her face shoved in the mat, but she was crying because she hates to lose that badly. Fierce, fight, 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 get up your back. If you hold the wrist, you can't get up. She's a very competitive little girl. I, I see very few people, period, that have her competitive streak. It's pretty impressive. Overtime, you're all tired. You just wrestled for 20 minutes straight, okay? It doesn't matter if you get your butt kicked for the last half hour. Is it gonna go to the person that wants it more? I need you thinking that way right now that you're gonna get this takedown and win this match. Yes, sir? Yes, sir! Ready? Nice, nice job. You gotta fight here, Pierce. You better be fighting the hands here. Here she comes. Here she comes. The next year, she won her state championship. That was the first year. She really turned it around. You got 20 seconds, get after it. I need a shot here. I need a shot. We gotta finish quickly. The one thing that's got her through this far is her aggressiveness. You will see her attack constantly. She is not a timid wrestler. She's one of the best eight-year-old wrestlers in the nation right now, her age and weight class. But where I've really seen her grow, it's her mindset. She doesn't think she's going to lose. And at seven or eight, that's impressive. One, two, three. Oh, you better find it. You should uh, you display some of your medals, Xander. Ooh, I'm gonna put that. This is like a quarter of her collection. National. Oh, these are boy tournaments. This will be her fourth year of competing in wrestling. Yes. She has a lot. She has one like two times bigger than this one, too. Most Outstanding Wrestler of the Year, 2018 to 2019, Salem Woods. Oh, what about your, uh, these the are big like tournaments, national like the big ones, the national tournaments, where the best of the best come out, oh, that's, that's where she gets her these state, big ones. State championship from last year. The yeah. boys and girls. Tournament. State champion. My favorite one is when, when that boy cried. He threw a fit and threw his headgear. Across the mat. She's kind of mean. She's a bully. <laughs> it's me when I was, well, way younger than you. It's me. You're fat. <laughs> I was a fat baby. Well, there's A. And she's little. And that's Montana. Look at how much they like. They look alike. You got a football there. So see, I'm trying to turn you into a boy already. Yeah. <laughs> Montana. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we played pretty much everything. Played Bass. softball, volleyball, volleyball, basketball, soccer. baseball. Tried soccer, got in a fight. Gymnastics. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what happened? With Montana, she was pretty much my buddy. She followed me everywhere. She was like my 
little boy. I just loved practicing with him. We'd throw the baseball in the front yard, and that's what made our relationship closer. Montana, she was uh, extra strong. And for fun, I'd be out in the garage, and little boys would go by about her age or a little older, and I'd say, come in here, I'll give you a dollar if you can beat this girl arm wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> I was a little bit more shy. I wasn't like outgoing like Zaylin. I was like, oh my gosh, again. <laughs> but I would just beat him for him because I know my dad would be happy. <laughs> oh yeah, that's my first year of wrestling, wrestling, I think. Yeah. Her wrestling, and she was doing good at that, but she was 15 and found out she's pregnant. And uh, it was hard for, uh, for the family to go through that. Are you gonna go do your hair? Yes. I probably will need your help for straightening. Okay, give me one second. She had us helping, so that made it a lot better for her. But I know she was tired still. She she just, you know, got through it and made it work. Hair's extra wavy today. She was at every single practice. Um, after she had Zay, she was at every tournament. And she was so mature about it all. I mean, she breastfed Zay for a year through that first year. And so, like, at school, I'd help her find places to go. Like, she'd come to my classroom or she'd go to the nurse. Three. Three, two more. Four, one more. No. Oh. <laughs> Montana was in high school and Zaylin just a baby in diapers. And sometimes she's up there at wrestling practice running around with diapers up there. We just had like a really awesome room where we, we raised our kids, she raised A. You know, the whole gym would kind of help and she would be on the mats ever since she was probably, since she was born really. So I think that really helped keep me on track and wrestling towards my goals. Zaylin? Yes. All right, hop on a scale. Everything, actually, as hard as it was, everything worked out smooth, and end up Zaylin had, you know, more love than anything. I've never been around a kid that actually loved something so much. As much as her. Staying low and aggressive, right? Staying low and aggressive. Yeah, ever since she started, really, she said, I want to go to the Olympics. You never know, you know, she's only eight, so let's let her be eight. Switch hands! Switch hands! But if she makes the right choices and she does the right things, I can see her one day with a gold medal, you know, from the Olympics hanging around her neck. Run it hard! Drive forward, forward, forward pressure. That's a great goal for her. Good job, Zay. Good. Just so happens, yeah, if she wanted to, we, we know the right people to help her, help her get there. Hey, go. Drive. Hey. Sit still. Hold tight. Hey. Hold tight. Hey. There you go. Circle towards the head. Hey. 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 Good job. Go shake hands. Go shake hands. Good job. Well, ladies and gentlemen, live it's out of the Santa Ana Star Center here in Rio Rancho, New Mexico. Five spouses are definitely some of the biggest unsung heroes in the UFC. We hear it all the time. MMA is a selfish sport, which is what makes tonight that much cooler. Montana and Mark De La Rosa will become the first husband and wife to fight on the same card in the UFC. Well, a big opportunity, and now back at 125 pounds is Mark De La Rosa now. He wants to get the family off to a good start tonight with his wife fighting later tonight. Fight! Mark De La Rosa is in the black. He's a plus 230 underdog tonight. Quick exchange on each side. He's going to fight you from the outside, Mark. Two minutes into the fight, and a big right hand for Taylor Rosa. Now we got to move our head to get inside. And Pive actually has the edge in total strikes. And now some damage from the nose of Mark De La Rosa there, as you can see after several of those punches from Piva has landed. He's coming! He just 
just loading that right hand up, Mark. Oh, right cross appears to stumble De La Rosa for a moment, but Mark's still firing back. Yeah, Mark's tough, man. Mark's a very tough guy, but right now, Pipe is just kind of measuring him. He's able to get to Mark, and then when Mark counters, he's already gone. Each of these guys busy in this second frame here and a big right hand for Paiva. De La Rosa's down and out. This bout is ruled a knockout for your winner, Julio! A little disappointed for a lot in this fight camp. So it's, it's the game. We, it's the game we, we live in. You get in there, anything can happen. Any second, anything can happen. And tonight, just tonight wasn't my night. I got caught. But clean slate, Montana. She's got a job to do, and I can't. It's not about me. It's about her, and I got to make sure she's zoned in, tuned in, and ready to fight. A big week for the De La Rosa family. Montana's daughter Zay Lynn just turned nine. Mark, of course, fighting earlier on the card tonight. Montana, it was her birthday yesterday on oh. Valentine's Day. Wow. Uh, she's hoping for a happy celebration of that. Look at the trooper that is Mark De La Rosa, who's back to work and in his wife's corner. Here is Montana De La Rosa! For sure, ladies, are you ready? Are you ready? Let's get it! Expect a new Montana De La Rosa tonight, her first action since June of 2019. Yeah, sharpen them up, sharpen them up and land them. Her hand is free now. Give you the elbow again. Look at Montana get small here. Fit to that pocket and switch to the double leg. Montana lifting her turn, lifting her turn, let's score. She's on the back and drags Barella down. Yes, yeah, hips in. Nice. We are right where we want to be. And this is De La Rosa's world right here. Tax her head, Tana, tax her neck. As the final seconds of round two tick away. So third and final round here in De La Rosa, obviously heavy control. Chase her down the middle, find the big two, Tana. Oh, big right for De La Rosa. Yes, Tana. Maybe the biggest shot landed in the UFC career of Montana De La Rosa. Keep throwing, Tana, keep throwing. Keep going. Put a stamp on it, Montana. Let's make a statement. You're amazing, dude. You're fucking awesome. Love you. Your winner by unanimous decision, Montana De La Rosa. Montana, you and your husband Mark made history tonight. How does it feel for the night to be over and you ended with a victory? It was hard, but it was well worth it. Um, I'm thankful to have my husband right here fighting next to my side. He helps me with every aspect of my fight camp. I can't imagine life without him. I was really happy to go give Zaylin a kiss. You know, she's always at the gym with me and she's with me 24 seven. So, I mean, I'd be nothing without her, you know. My family is everything. I couldn't do it without them.